Hey guys, Frozen here and I'm gonna make a tutorial on a simple but good looking signature at the end in my opinion. You have your opinion, I have mine. So yeah, I'm gonna pick the render first cause we're gonna work around the render to make the signature. And my computer is lagging just what I needed. You know what? I'm gonna um, pause this and come back when I'm done looking for a good render. And I'm back. So I found this on my bleach tank and I, I decided to use it. So let me get rid of this and mini bridge. Wow, I'm lagging. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Got a uh, the render set and yeah. Um, you're gonna paint the paint the background black. That's how I've been doing it and that's how I think it should be done never made it any other way so I'm not actually sure anyways I'm gonna resize the render to make sure I can I mean it goes well in the signature I can't speak today I don't know why but I just can't maybe uh, hmm. I don't think this is gonna work. Anyways, I just want to show you guys how I make my, I made my old signatures. So what I w always do is I copy the um, the main render and put it to the behind the background. So in case I need it, uh, to uh, to do anything with. I'll just use it. Anyways, you're gonna want to copy the the render f three times. So one, two, three. And uh, I mean, what the? Just ah, uh, fuck. So hide every single layer besides this one, the first one. And now let's get to smudging. So you want to get the hard round brush, so this one, 100%, set it to around, let's see, 40, 30, whatever, depending on the size of your signature. Then you're going to check uh, shape dynamics, control to pen pressure, 0%. Uh, a minimum around 45 no f yeah f whatever 46 percent wow that's not what I wanted um yeah and zero 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 and there we go flip no I wait a minute no you don't actually flip it I'm just being stupid so both axes two hundred and seventy five percent should do count two count jel uh jelter one hundred percent and off smoothing noise okay so wow what the heck it's not a, what I wanted not working out so well because my computer is just completely stupid let me see no still too hard and you want to set the string to around 30% so it gives a nice texture when you smudge like this so yeah you just want to you're just going to uh, smudge outwards 
like this and it should give it a nice little background to start working on so there we go okay <clears throat> my voice is failing as well anyways after that you're gonna get the uh, chalk brush number 23 and shape dynamics now this time it's 100 percent size shelter I have this all in on um, a notebook so I'm gonna use the the same things I used on every single one of them so 92 percent on this one minimum diameter tilt scale doesn't show up I never know why um, <laughs> this one is 29 percent 25 and wait a minute so it's 25 and the flip the axis shelter okay there we go <coughs> now both axes off 2000 20 what the fuck uh 209 209 and pen tilt count one and count shelter yeah wait this and this there we go so now this is what's gonna give it a glow afterwards so you're just going to randomly well you can do it however you want I just do it like this outwards you wanna smudge outwards like this And if this tutorial gets um, uh, bad, which probably will, because I can't talk pretty much, um, I'm kind kind of retarded at the moment. If that uh, uh, that happens, I will make a new one whenever I can, which should be pretty soon. Okay, now that that's done this one you set it to linear dodge and this one's the one that's gonna give the glow the outer glow pretty, uh, pretty much a good looking little glow around the character and after that we're pretty much done we just have to use some gradient maps and photo filters blah 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 and I'll explain that in a second hope you can hear the noise in the background my brother is watching a video and it might do something I don't even know what I'm talking about what the heck so as you can see nice little glow this one looks too oh shit see this is why you copy the the first render so you can put it here so there we go and that's it for the smudging this one won't look too good but I'll give you another example in a second of how it can look anyways you're gonna go to green map you get a black and white no wait uh... oh shit Okay, you got a black and what was the main color for this one? Wait, let me check. Uh, yeah, this guy had some blue wings, so I'm gonna go to the blue thing, a uh, little dark blue. That's not what I wanted. Okay, there we go. Got a little dark blue. Set it to overlay and around 50 opacity you no know, 60 to not 50 yeah there we go and then a black and white gradient map set it to soft light around 
sixty percent. No, what the heck? It was the other way around. This one is soft light. Okay, that explains a lot. I fucked up. Sorry. Anyways, it gives it a nice little touch already because it was just white and a black background. Uh, now you're gonna make a new layer. New layer. Get a soft brown brush, whatever size you want. I'll hmm get a oh, small little one and put uh, set the um, the layer mode to linear dodge and add some glow to the um, signature. What? the heck? Why isn't... Hmm... What am I doing wrong? Maybe I can't use white. I'll just use a... little blue. There we go. Something. And you wanna set the opacity a little bit down. So it isn't as noticeable, you know? Because as you can see, if I put it to 100%, it's like way too much of a focus thing. I just want to place it over the edge like this and in the eyes. That's pretty much it. So. Now gradient map. Uh, yeah, this one. The orange and purple one. You can use another one. It doesn't really matter. I just like those, the ones I'm using at the moment. Because I think they, they look good. But that's that's probably just me. Now you can do your own stuff, but I'm gonna go add a fold uh photo filter a blue luminosity. Wait, it didn't change anything? What the heck? Okay, let me there we go. Now, control oh whatever, you wanna go make a new layer. Go to image and apply image like this. And then sharpen, sharpen. Well, that's over sharpened. So you wanna use this, the render you left behind, and bam. Like this. As I said, this one doesn't look perfect or anywhere near my other ones using this. So after that you wanna add a stroke whatever you want. I'll just finish this. Wait a second. Stroke. Add a name. Whatever you want to type in. If you don't want to type in anything, don't type in anything. Like potatoes. There we go. So that's pretty much the signature done. The thing is, the signature um, depends pretty much on the render, because this render di didn't work, but this one worked pretty well, as you can see, because it has a lot of color, like this one. It just has a little bit of blue, 
and white everywhere, a little bit of black as well. So, yeah, that's probably why it doesn't look too good. Anyways, if this tutorial isn't too good, I will make another one. By the way, I used fractals in this one. That may help you. And some glow over here and some fractals. Yeah, so that might help the signature. Anyways, what you want to look for is a signature with a lot of color. And vibrant colors so you can use the this method if you don't have a render with a lot of color you might not want to use this method so yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next video whatever I make bye